The year is 1969. This psychologist from Stanford, Philip Zimbardo, decides to set up the experiment. He leaves two cars as abandoned. He leaves one of them in the rough part of the Bronx and leaves the other one in the posh area of Palo Alto in California. The cars are in the same conditions. They don't have the license plates and their hood is up, but apart from that, they're not destroyed. That is until the family gets to the car in the Bronx and completely destroys it. Within 24 hours, that car was completely demolished. So to prove his hypothesis, Zimbardo now goes back to Palo Alto in California, where the car has been left untouched and he smashes the window to it. Soon enough, that car was completely demolished as well. Further research by Wilson and Kelly and the article published in The Atlantic in 1982 led the rest of the social psychologists and the police officers to conclude that if one window is left broken and, what's crucial, unrepaired, that soon all the rest of the windows on that building will be broken too. This in turn led them to coin the term broken windows theory.